Mm -hmm. So again, there's an issue between the king of Syria or Aram, that's the same country. Uh, well, well there at that time they had a lot of wars, as you can see. Let's see what happened. Later, the king of Aram did return and he sent his entire army to lay siege to Samaria, the capital city of Israel. Remember last time, he tried to surround Elisha with his army and Elisha's servant was really, really worried until, until Elisha prayed and said, God, please open his eyes so he can see that those who are with us are more than those who are against us. And suddenly the servant's eyes were open and he saw he saw the multi, the army, a huge army of angels all around them in chariots and with swords and armor. And now, again, that same king of Syria, he is attacking the capital city of Israel. He laid a siege around it. And people are inside the city, surrounded by walls. The army cannot go inside because they're walls, but they cannot get any food into the city. They're starving. And here it says the famine caused by the siege was so bad that a donkey's head sold for two pounds of silver. They had no food. They even had to sell donkey's heads to eat. They had no food at all. Help me, my lord, the king, somebody shouts. If the lord does not help you, where can I get help from you? for you? From the thrashing floor? From the wine press? What is the matter? This woman says, this woman said to me, give up your son so we may eat him today and tomorrow we'll eat my son. So we cooked my son and ate him. The next day I said to her, give up your son so we may eat him. But she had hidden him. See how bad it got. People were eating each other. Mothers were eating their own babies because, because there, was no, there was no food inside the city. That's how bad it got. People are starving. And when people are starving, they are desperate. They're even, even eating their own children. May God, and that's the king. Of course, the king is frustrated. May God deal with me, be it ever so severely, if the head of Elisha's, Elisha, son of Shaphat, remains on his shoulders today. The king is really angry. He thinks it's all because of Elisha, that the trouble they're having. So what happened next? Don't you see how this murderer is sending someone to cut off my head? Elisha says, look, when the messenger comes, hold the door shut against him. Is not the sound of his master's footsteps behind him? This disaster is from the Lord. Why should I wait for the Lord any longer? The king is angry with Elisha because he thinks that it's all because of Elisha. And so he wants to kill Elisha. But Elisha says, wait. Elisha says, hear the word of the Lord. This is what the Lord says. About this time tomorrow, 12 pounds of the finest flour will sell for a shekel and 20 pounds of barley for a shekel at the gate of Samaria. He says tomorrow there would be food, a lot of food, and it's going to be very, very cheap, he says. But how can people believe in that when they're starving to death? Look, says this guy, even if the Lord should open the floodgates of the heavens, could this happen? You will see it with your own eyes, but you will not eat any of it, says Elisha to this guy, the one who didn't believe the word of the Lord. And so let's see what happened. Four lepers, leper, leprosy is the skin disease. Four lepers who were outside the city, this is what they're doing. They faced a um, uh, quandary. What's a quandary? Why stay here until we die? If we say we'll go into the city, the famine is there and we will die. And if we stay here, we will die. So let's go over to the camp of the Arameans and surrender. If they spare us, we live. If they kill us, then we die. So because they cannot go inside the city, they're kind of waiting outside of the city as they're supposed to because of their skin disease. They say, why, why shall we stay here? Let's go to Arameans, to the army that surrounds the city. If they give us food, great. If they don't, we'll die. We can die here. We can die there. Doesn't matter where we are. We'll just die. And so they go, but no one was in the camp because the night before the Lord had caused the Arameans to hear the sound of chariots and horses and the great army. Something happened. No people are there. And this is what happened. They heard some noises. The king of Israel has hired the Hittite and Egyptian kings to attack us. Flee for your lives. They heard noises and they thought 
that's that the armies are surrounding them and they got scared and ran away the whole army just ran away and these lepers that found their camp say i can't believe our good fortune we are rich there's everything there's money there's weapons there's food all for the lepers oops sorry i accidentally went to the next page and they say they're drinking and celebrating and feasting what we're doing is not right says one of them this is a day of good news and we are keeping it to ourselves if we wait until daylight punishment will overtake us let's go at once and report this to the royal palace yes, let's go back to the city and tell people that there's food here and money and the tents and the, the whole army ran away let's go and tell others let's share the good news he says with the people inside the city and so they come to the gates and say we went into the Aramean camp and no one was there not a sound of anyone only tethered horses and donkeys and the tents left just as they were the Arameans are gone says this guy I will tell you what the Arameans have done they know we are starving so they are hiding in the countryside to take us alive have some men take five of the horses that are left and find out what happened their plight will be no different than the rest of the doomed Israelites so they still do not believe it they still doubt and say let's go and check maybe they're hiding so when we all come then they will ambush us and kill us all let's go and investigate first it is true people come back and say the Arameans have fled quick back to the city with this good news they check and they find out that really all the army the whole army ran away the officer who questioned Elisha was put in charge of the city gate and was trampled to death when the people ran out to plunder the Aramean camp. Of course, everybody's so happy. Everybody started running to the tents, to the camp, the Aramean camp that was empty now. And they were so quick that they trampled to death this guy who doubted earlier. Poor guy. And that day, 12 pounds of the finest flour sold for a shekel and 20 pounds of barley for a shekel, just as Elisha had predicted. So food was very, very cheap that day. And people, finally, all the people who were starving, they got the food that they were waiting for, for a long time. So they don't have to eat their own children anymore. Poor people. Um, Angel, would you read to us the first part about a okay, dying sir. city, please? Thank you, Angel. Start. A, a dying city. The king of Syria led his whole army against Israel and surrounded the city of Samaria. No one could go in or out. People inside the city became very hungry because there was no food. But Elisha told the king, this is what the Lord says. By tomorrow, there will be plenty of food again. There were four men outside the city wall who had a sickness called leprosy. They, had to, they said to each other, we have nothing to lose. We are going to die anyway. So let's go to the Syrian camp. They didn't know that the Lord had made the enemy troops hear the sound of a large army of horses, charities, which Chariots. made them run for their lives chariots are like when, chariots oh. yeah not chari charity but chariots continue when the four men when the four men reached the camp nobody was there as they went into one tent after another they found gold silver clothing and food then they said to each other come let's go tell everyone so they rushed back to the city to give the other Israelites the good news. That's right. Thank you. The question for us is, is there really a treasure inside me? Ooh, is there a treasure inside me? Do I have a heart of gold? That kind of a question. Um, let's see. Rayendra, would you like to read? Okay, sir. All right, let's is read our treasure. Is there really a treasure inside me? Don't you love those stories? Where well, the most unlikely character becomes the hero. Well, the four biggers lived outside the city for a reason. No one wanted them. They had an ugly skin disease. And so they were thrown out of the city. However, when they found the enemy camp, 
empty with lots of treasure and put left behind in their papa better of their those starving inside the city the bigas could have been spite fight, fight and kept fightful and kept it a secret but they went back to share the good news the way they looked on the outside was no longer important the message they had for it was not important what they looked like and what kind of leprosy the skin disease they had it was not important the important thing was the message that they had to save the whole city continue our bodies our bodies which are like fragile fragile jars, jars of clay are not perfect it doesn't matter matter what we look like on the outside we have a previous treasure. precious treasure precious treasure precious treasure treasure inside us the good news of jesus share it it with others that's right that's the precious treasure that we have the good news of jesus and let's read the verse for today together ready go but, but we have this treasure a jar of clay to show this all present our is from god and not from us do corinthians what do corinthians 4 7 right i say second corinthians but you can say two corinthians too second book of corinthians that's why i said two corinthians it's a letter, first letter to Corinthians, second letter to Corinthians that Paul wrote. That's so most of the people say second, but it's okay if you say two Corinthians. It's up to you. I mean, it's the same thing. And that's the treasure that we have. What is your treasure? There was a song about treasure. I forgot what it was. Treasure in jars of clay that we have. And you have it in your heart. How's everybody doing? Let me stop the recording.